So something that comes through very clearly while learning about the essential oils and what we just uh, kind of covered um, is understanding the source, the chemical structure and the therapeutic event effects of, essential, of each essential oil and the constituents, of course. Um, I used to smell plants and foods and perfumes and just draw conclusions based on my, my memories or related to a source that it reminds me of like, oh, that smells like uh, strawberry, for example. But now I, I often actually think about uh, essential oils uh, for their individual chemical parts or their uh -huh. constituents and how they can have a therapeutic or psychological effect. So um, I wanted to ask you, why do you think it's important for us to understand the, the chemical and molecular structure of essential oils, as well as their human and cultural impact? Uh, this is this is really a wonderful question, and I, I was looking forward to, uh, to to diving deep into that. Uh, I think it's important to keep both sides. I think it's important to allow yourself to just smell and just experience thing, things without intellectualizing them, because uh, I've I've witnessed that with uh, Robert, who has been dealing with essential oils for fifty something years that when we go to an experiential workshop, let's say, where you smell things and you're supposed to uh, brainstorm how they make you feel, he's already thinking in terms of constituents and chemicals, and this is what I'm doing. So I think it's important to kind of consciously try to keep both sides, try to keep the, okay, right now I'm smelling some limonene and a little bit of something else, and also thinking, oh, this makes me feel light and this makes me feel bright and this makes me feel happy i think it's important to to keep both that said uh i think it's important to understand the tools that you're using if you're using them uh i personally am a very curious uh my, i have a very curious mind so i do want to understand pretty much everything i want to know why things behave the way they behave what makes essential oils volatile? What makes them so that if you put them in a little bowl over a candle, you will get your whole room smelling? What is it? Well, it's because the molecules are small. Okay, how small are they? What do they look like? What do these molecules look like? So that's coming from a perspective of someone who's just curious about things. But if you start using them, uh, the chemistry of essential oils impacts many aspects of using essential oils in aromatherapy for yourself it impacts the safety of essential oils if you understand the chemistry if you understand the makeup of an essential oil you understand why you need to be cautious around this, a particular essential oil uh, it ov obviously impacts the therapeutic properties and whether we know what the therapeutic properties are of the oil because we there's a lot we don't know uh, and if you understand that okay we we know about these constituents can we extrapolate and say, okay, this essential oil will probably have this effect. It's, in, it's really important in perfumery as well, because knowing about the chemical makeup will allow you to blend the essential oils uh, better. You, you, know, you will know whether the essential oil is more of a top node or more of a base node, or where does it belong and what, you know, how you can perhaps recreate it if you need to. Uh, and it's also important for storing essential oils. If you understand that they're volatile and that they're prone to oxidize because of their chemical makeup, because of their nature, you understand how to keep them in a way that will um, make them last longer and be, uh, be used up and not thrown away because they just went bad. So I think it's, it's important when you use essential oils to understand the tool that you're using. Yeah. I, I'm uh, like you, I'm always very curious about, about things. So um, I guess that's why when I was taking, for example, the aromatic uh, or the chemistry course um, in the Tisserand Institute, I was so shocked at how interesting it was because I was thinking at first, oh, like chemistry. <laughs> oh, I did that in high school. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> but then it was actually so beneficial because because there are chemical reasons why um, why lemon is a top note or because yeah. it's because of its molecular structure. And that to me was just so mind mind boggling, mind blowing. And I was very excited because then I, I, I had this connection in my brain, like, okay, 
it's actually now you know for, for a reason yeah um, now you know yeah not That's to very, mention that that Dr. Joy makes chemistry really fun because she's a she's a really yes. great tutor and she's really a, a wonderful personality. We very consciously didn't because it is chemistry and because you need to deal with chemistry. Very often we have the oh chemistry yes exactly like you I had it in high school yeah it was horrible I just kind of <laughs> suffered through the classes, uh, and we just wanted to bring it in in a way that you can relate to and that will spark that curiosity. So I'm, I'm glad that you yeah. experienced that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I think uh, it's, yeah, it, it's a very, like you said, you don't want to get too caught up on it, right? Because yeah. you still want to be able to enjoy just smelling and and being also curious about smelling, um, which you can get, of course, get bat- better at. You can get better at smelling and, and I, making um, identifications. Yeah. So it's always good to be to be open and not be stuck on this whole like, uh, constituent thing. But it's it's also so beneficial to know uh, yeah. this this constituent relates to that or um, et cetera, or yeah. even just the fact that um, like chemical makeups can can impact perfumery, right? Mm-hmm. Because you mm-hmm. have these different levels of uh, of the olfactory pyramid. Um, yeah. Yeah. So absolutely, it's, it's, it's actually- yeah, it's the it's the two sides again. You've got the intellectual and the uh, and the experiential as well. So yeah, 